Hello, this is Lucy. Today we're going to be talking about how to get into Oxbridge and the Ivy League universities as an international student. So I'm going to talk mainly in generalisations because the thing you'll find is it varies depending exactly on what country you're in, your own experience and the university you're applying for. So each will have slightly different requirements so the most important thing is to check their specifications. They will have them on their international students page and they will normally say so you come from Canada, you come from Ecuador, whichever country and it will tell you about how to transfer your country's qualifications and how they apply to Oxbridge, the Ivy League and so on. If you're still a bit confused, get in touch with them directly. Um, they'll be able to give you specific advice to your circumstances. But I would advise you, if you're coming particularly from a non-English speaking country, that you should look in advance for how your current country's qualifications and edu educational system transfers to the UK and the US. The other important thing to think about is your English language qualification. So if you're in a country where English is not the first language and it's not your native language, you're going to have to take some sort of English language proficiency test. Sometimes, say you've been in an English medium school, this can be waived. Um, and again, each school has their own requirements, but generally speaking, you'll need to take the TOEFL or IELTS academic. Um, and again, the exact score you'll need for your university varies, but you're wanting to be aiming for, in the IELTS, 6.5 and 7.0, sometimes even 7.5 for Oxford and Cambridge. Um, but make sure that you have on your list, along with, say, whatever tests you have to do, such as the SATs and, and the ACTs, you've also got to be bearing in mind that you're going to have to take an English language qualification. Um, because that is a really important part of your application. The other thing you might want to be aware of is how the fact that you might need to get your transcripts, um, your diplomas and so on translated at some point. They're probably wanting an English copy and they'll also want the originals at some point as well. So these are the things you need to be thinking of on top of all the standard stuff uh, US student applying to Ox to the Ivy Leagues or a UK student applying to Oxbridge is having to do. You have to take these additional steps. So my general advice is do your research early on because there are lots of different specifications depending on your own circumstances and the specific institution you're aiming for. Um, and just make sure you're aware of all the ins and outs of the process because yeah you're going to need to have English language proficiency possibly some translations there might be additional testing you need to do so be aware of this early on and you won't get caught out that way and if you're stuck and you have any questions just contact the departments directly they'll be willing to help um, a prospective student and answer any queries you have, particularly if you're talking to them early um, and before you've even begun the application cycle. Um, I hope that's answered your questions, but if you do have any more, post below. All the best. <laughs> Thanks for now, Lucy. I was like, all the best? That's how I sign off an email. Hope you enjoyed our videos. You can click here for more and you can click right here to subscribe.